Okay, so I just want to talk a bit about strategy in Apex and kind of the meta of strategy in Apex to some extent. I won't be talking about characters as much, um, which characters you should play. I think um, it is fairly clear to most people which characters you should be playing. Um, in my opinion, and I think in a lot of other people's opinions, Bandalore, Lifeline, and Bloodhound are probably is probably the best combination. And I'll kind of and you can kind of figure it out as I go on. Um, as to why I think they're important, I mean, I'll actually talk about Lifeline quickly. I think. So Lifeline has Lifeline has heals. And that's important as well. So Lifeline both has heals and has a shield around her when she revives. Um and so that's important because it means if you're behind cover, it means that you can use that drone and to help you and your teammates and as and so between between firefights you can stay alive. And the value you get are, and also care package, of course. Um but so the value you get out of that is massive because you have you now have the ability to treat the game as a load of um, 3v3s or 3v2s or 2v2s. Um, you you are able to treat the game as if there are two teams with Lifeline because what you lose out from fighting a team and winning is completely nullified, which I think is very good about this game, which I I think they've done very well. Um I'm not I I'm not I have no clue about um game design, so I don't know if this like how intentional this was. I'd assume it probably was a fairly but I think this was a really good choice. Um and that it, it that doesn't really feed into my point as much uh, as how I think strategy works. I think Lifeline is kind of just a like kind of a fallback, um, or well not a fallback, but she's a necessary component in the game to allow the game to be much more competitive and. But I do think the game could be more competitive. I think there are aspects, and I'll cover that in a bit. But um, yeah, just check. This is recording. This is recording. That is good. Um, so let's go. Okay, let's start off with what do we want to start off with? How do you win Apex? Have I been calling it Anthem? I always like call it Anthem in my head, but okay. How to win Apex? Probably isn't the best start, but um, or best way I could have started this off, but it's okay. So by killing the last squad, or having the last squad, or be being the last one alive. So let's go with killing the last squad because let's assume that the last two squads aren't idiots and they don't die in the storm. Um, well, the third one might, but that's irrelevant. Um, and so let's go back even further. Uh, well, so, how to win Apex. Kill 
the last squad. Excluding yourself, of course. Um, so, before you can get to that position, you have to kill the other squad. And you have to do that because otherwise they will kill you. Um, and so, how do you kill them? Um, it's probably a good question. Um, well, so in firefight, uh, and so I think, and well, so the way firefights work in this game uh, is they're at medium, medium to long range generally. Um, it, it occasionally, you will see firefights at close range, but that's usually during the in looting and they will they don't last long let's just say um so the they're well so the fights at close range they're very um quickly resolved that uh if you if you're the and usually it's when you have very like individual members who have overextended. So that's kind of why I'm not really considering it as much because it's usually based around mistakes. There's no actual reason why you'd want to be close to people at the start of firefight. You want to be at medium range. Because the game plays at medium range. The game plays best at medium range, and there's no way to close the distance. Um, if you're at close range, then it's very difficult for you to get out of there. Um, there aren't any abilities in the game, which a pattern which will do that efficiently. Um, but yeah, so medium range. So this is medium range. They shoot each other. But it's not one person versus one person. It's three people. Um, so how do you maximize um, how do you maximize your chances of winning? Well, because it so what you don't want to do is you don't want to play as a group in firefights. There's no po there's no real point playing as a group. The only ability which allows you to stay together part um which really matters is lifelines. Um, Gibraltar's is more for picking people up, um, but and you can't shoot out of it, so it's not really useful for firefights unless you're recovering someone. Um, which is also why I think he's a pretty poor pick, to be honest. Um, so. And so what you want to do is you want to take angles. You want to take crossfire. And you see this a lot in other games. Overwatch has this a lot. Um, or at least it did in Double Sniper. Right now it's GOAT, but because, yeah. Um, and so now you have an advantage. Because these people have to focus on, they can't shoot all of you, they can't look at all of you. They couldn't shoot all of you anyway, but um, they can't look at all of you, and so their attention has to be directed at one of you. And what that does 
is it means no matter where they look, they're always getting shot in the back. And so what that means is they look over here, and then he can go f push further up, take a further angle, push behind. Now they don't have cover. Wow. Um, so now they have to look over here. Then they can push further up. And so now you see they start getting demolished because they don't have cover. Because they've got multiply. It's like if you if you have a rock here. Uh, that doesn't look like a rock, but whatever. Um, if you're just playing as a group like that, no one's going to accomplish anything. I wonder why. Um, if you're playing like this. That person's still not going to accomplish anything. Well, maybe if they're like on the roof, then it just it means that they can't take the roof. But so, what this is is map control. If you've played Overwatch, you will you should know this. Um, so, and you also have. Um, actually, no, that's not too relevant. But um, so what this also means is, if you're defending, it goes badly. Um, because, well, so um, actually, I'll cover the map control first. Um, before I attempt to talk about why that makes defending bad. Um. So, what this means, uh, so then let's make this red team, um, and then black is like good guys, aren't they? Um, uh, so, within this area, so Black can see everything within this area. They can shoot everything within here. Meanwhile, and so what that means is red are uncovered, right? And if they don't have any cover, then they die. Whereas and so that's what map control is. It's and so by have by taking these angles, you establish map control much better map control than if we were to delete these two people. If it's gonna let me rub it out, um, and just had this because now. You have this single sight. Damn it! Uh, you have this single sight line, which both can shoot. And say so there's cover here. They move into cover. They're alive. Wow! I realise I've been explaining this without cover, so it might be worse. But um, but say so there's cover here. It's like, hey, they can go in there. But now, there are people coming here. It's like chess. Um, if anyone plays chess. It's like, when you have that... Um, um, I'm just going to do a small bit of board. Um, it's like, you have a king here, and a rook here, and here. Oh wow! Pink's gonna die either way, so he needs to move there. It's like that kind of thing. Create angles, make sure they can't retreat. You win, and you can do that while also, and so that's how you abuse the fact you have three people, and you also don't lose out 
because you having three people in one spot doesn't give you any more firepower because because this rock this is a weird shaped rock but this rock isn't going to move how, however many times you shoot it so pew 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 still there And so that's that's how you win. Um, and so, what does that mean exactly? So the way you way you win firefights is crossfires. We've covered that. That also means what? Well, so crossfires and map control. What that means is if you are defending you will suffer because what crossfires require you to do is crossfires require you to push and go aggressive so if you are defending and unaware of this of if if you're defending and you don't and you're that team that are here and you allow yourself to get pushed you will lose every time and I think that's probably one of the best parts. Is this is why the game has done so well, I think. Uh, this is a very large factor in it. Is that you can't hide... You Like, in Fortnite, it was like... Um, I can't remember what it was. It was like a tweet. Um, someone said something like... Or best part of Apex Legends is people don't turn into an eight store rebuilding when you shoot them. Um so like that's what happens in Fortnite is like person. Pew pew. Eight story building, stay alive forever. And so what that does is that it slows down the game a load and it just um and it kind of uh what's the word doesn't exaggerate it's like it emphasizes uh i don't know if emphasizes is the right word but i'm going to go with it 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 just emph it emphasizes i forgot what i was going to say now um but if you have if in if you have an equal fight between defenders and attackers then what that means is people don't people can just stay there and they can win off that and so that's camping and that's what people hate because if you can if you if you have two options and one of them is force a fight and one of them is just stay and wait for people to come, then kill them. Forcing a fight is much more risky, but it gets higher value by making it low risk. Make or not, it doesn't make it low risk. It is still high risk, but much higher value. And in the, it is the only way you win. In that, it is the meta that makes the game so much better. Um, and it's also I why I dislike Gibraltar and Heroes like um, oh I need to stop calling them Heroes I can't rub stuff out um, yeah so attackers win and so in a 1v1 situation attackers always win the ones who engage always win. Um, so what this means is, so th what this means is for the way you work around the map is, wow, high quality production. Um, what this means is, wrong color. 
Uh, that didn't happen. So, I don't like that colour. Okay, this is good. So, if you notice, every like high value plays, apart from these two, is there inside. And so, that place is like a death trap rotation. Um, well, it's not a death trap, trap, but it's like contested later in the game, and you don't really want to land there because. Um, but yeah, so that's more of a mid game rotation thing. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but. And then the pit, that's inside an area. It's like they all have walls behind them. Note, like this. People can't come from the sea, right? Um, okay. So what that means is you drop initially one of these hotspots, one of these high value loot areas, you get your loot, and then you move to the center. But what that means is you have to completely clear your area before you push. You have to completely clear your zone, and you and the way you want to work it is you want to know that every area you've covered is completely within your map control. Because the last thing you want is to get shot from behind. Because as we've already covered, if you get shot from behind, you lose. Because you allow them the opportunity to get that advantage on you. You allow them to push, you allow them to take map control, and if they take map control, they win. Because the game is played at close range, and the defenders have very, 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 very poor sustain potential or survivability. You have no, like, there's no way you can stay alive against that. Like, you can't just run into people. There's no... Um, like, it's, yeah, um, in, like, in a game like Overwatch, where it's played, where you have to, at some point, have someone playing at close range, because objectives are a thing and they're in close range. It crossfires aren't OP. Crossfires don't um aren't always perfect because you do need someone touching the point. But in a game like this where there's no object the only objective, the only reason, the only incentive you have to move is within the zone. that means that you can play at much further range. So, yeah. And so, going back to this, then. You need to completely clear every zone. You need to have 100% information as to every zone you've pushed. This makes information incredibly powerful because if you have information as to where everyone is, if you if you can if you are here, if you've rotated from airbase and actually let's say you've just covered bunker, if you're there and you can say so let's say the zone is um Here ish. Um, if you're there and you can say that you've so let's say you've come from there, um, you've covered um, here, here, you've covered the pit, you've covered this area, or at least you, you don't have to have covered them, but you need to know if people are there. If you've covered that and you can say that these areas are clean or there's no one there, therefore you know that the only threat's coming from here. So cascades, bridges, 
tunnels, whatever this is, river. You, like, it's not an instant win or anything, but you've got, like, that's a necessity, basically, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Inf in you need information. Um, yeah, and then I also want to just talk, a t before I finish, I just want to talk a small bit about the end of the game, uh, like last three squads, because I do think this is an issue. I don't like this about the game. Um, I, I think, so, uh, I'll go back here. Um, so let's say you have the zone here. Um, one squad there, one squad there, one squad there. If currently an issue is that lifeline, <laughs> like I know I said lifeline is super powerful, but the thing is lifeline just isn't powerful enough. If these groups fight each other, So in the last three groups, you want to not be fighting because the third group can just clean up. Uh, and I think this is an issue and um, uh, I've abused this in squads with people before and like I'm a massive feeder in this game so I should not be winning anything. But... Um, like, no matter how hard I get carried, I should not win anything in this game. Um, but because if you're third group, and if you survive that long, you can just clean up, because these two groups, they don't have time to heal up. And so I do think this... Um, so I think this both needs to be covered, because people need to know, don't fight if you're the last group. You need to have it in a 3v3. And you... So the way you kind of want to play it is you want to just take positions and that way, and then kind of whistle them down. Don't ha don't let people like clean you up. In this situation, Lifeline is very poor. I think um, Lifeline is mostly about the early game and keeping you alive through the early games, so which is the one of the ways which I think she could be like overturned. Um, like another character, legend could come in. I hate calling them legends. Can we rename them, please? Um, but yeah, like Lifeline can't heal you up, and it's very easy to just flush you out of small zones. Um, unless you do manage to, if if you do play it super well, and you can create three distinct like vectors and then just attack the squad from there, then from there you can actually push in and later clean it up. But like, yeah. And so that's where I'm kind of gonna end it. So just kind of in summary, I just, if there's anything anyone takes from this, it's um, a few things. So firstly, push it. You need to be able to control the engages. Control the engages. Um, and so this means you need to be the one pushing. And information is key. Because you have a massive map. Okay, what? Okay, you have a mass. Uh, okay, you have this. You have no, like at the start of the game, you know what's going on wherever you jump. You don't know anything about anything else. You know here. You know nothing about this thing. Why isn't it? Okay. You have no, know nothing about anywhere there. So to be able to expand that is massive. Um, and it also means that you get, like, you, you can push if you've um, 
if you've got that. And crossfires. Fries. Let's go. Hey, right, hope this was useful to someone. Uh hope this was less scuffed than previously. Um like yeah. Oh, I made the old video unlisted by the way, so yeah. Just is there were a couple of issues with it which I didn't like that much. So cool.